In this video, we will be looking at how we're going to find an equation of an indirect proportion. Remember the previous videos of a direct proportion, and of a direct proportion, we said that x was directly proportional to y, and then our equation becomes x equals ky. That's a direct proportion. In the indirect proportion, the x is proportional to 1 over y. This indicates the indirect proportion. And we also simply make that an equation by putting in the equal sign and making the 1 a constant. So it's very similar to the direct um, equation, but this one is the indirect equation. So x is k over y. That you must remember, okay? Just memorize that. All right. If we look at the example, the brightness B of an object varies inversely, right, as the square of the distance of the object from the light, right? When D is so much, B is so much, find the equation that connects B and D. All right. Capital B, the brightness, is inversely proportional, varies inversely, okay? So immediately we know that B is inversely proportional, means 1 over, okay? That is what the inverse indicates to us. The square of the distance, which is small d, so the distance is squared, all right? The square of the distance from the light. So firstly, people, write from your text, write the indirect proportion, all right? Then you make, you change the proportion to an equality and you make one the constant, okay? Remember to make this an equality, all right? Then they tell you when D is 12 and B is 2, find the equation. So instead of capital B, we will write a 2 substitute. Instead of D, we will write a 12 substitute. Okay, then it is Goros or take over the 12 to calculate K and K becomes 288. That is our usual, get the formula. Okay, this is the formula. Then number 2, substitute the values. Number 3 is calculate, right? Lastly, because you are asked to write an equation, lastly, you must write the equation. And all that it means is you go back to what you've written up there and you substitute your constant with the value that you have calculated. Now we've got an equation that actually indicates to us the indirect proportion between the brightness and the square of the distance. All right, for question two, find the value of B, the brightness, when D, the distance, is 3. That is really simple. You now got your equation. Write down your equation. In step 2, we're going to substitute what is given. The distance of 3 is given. So instead of D, we're going to write the 3. And then simply put this into your calculator. Calculate, and we get that the brightness will be 32. Okay, so I'd like to go back to the original question, which is find the equation, okay, that connects capital B with a small d, right? We will start by writing the indirect proportion, simply because they tell you it's an inverse proportion. So we start with y, x is proportional to 1 over y. Okay, and x in one case is the brightness. The brightness is inversely proportional. That's the 1 over the square of the distance. So that's distance squared. Then you make it an equation, putting in your constant, so that you have an equation with which you can work. In step 2, they tell you when d is 12 and b is 2, you're going to just simply substitute that. You're going to calculate your constant, which is 288, right? And then 
Don't forget, importantly, the last step is to now put your constant into your equation, which you have written, and that now is the equation that connects B, the brightness, to the square of the distance. Okay, in question B, you start with your equation, you substitute your values, and you just simply calculate.